guys what's up so i'm so excited to do this video because hi i went to sephora and i got all of the fenty stuff well not all of it but i got a lot of fenty stuff you guys already know if you don't know fenty is rihanna's brand and she came out with fenty beauty which is the beauty line of her brand and it is all makeup and i am so amazed at just the like amazingness that is this amazingness um the foundation does have 40 shades so you are able to find your shade i mean it's just like everybody's freaking out about it the launch party looked so cool last night i was watching it on everybody's snapchats so i decided to go right to sephora this morning and purchase everything that i could as quickly as i could before everything sold out so i did this look today with all fenty products um with the exception of like brows and mascara but um all of the face products are fenty so if you want to see what i did then just keep on watching all right so let's just go ahead and get into this because i'm super excited so first of all i didn't want to order online simply because i didn't want to wait the fenty stuff was launched last night at the fenty release party in new york and i was watching everybody's snapchat trying to get the details on earth thing so um i'm just i'm ready I'm ready. My receipt um, is not with me, but I know for sure I spent $330 on everything that I got. But I figured whatever I don't want, I can take it back. I'm gonna go through everything in order of how I would put it on my face. I currently do not have anything on my face right now. This is the packaging. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. wait oh no oh no yeah um i was supposed to get the primer and i got the light scant foundation so basically i accidentally got two foundations this is the the lightest shade and then <laughs> and this is the foundation in my shade um the shade that i have is 410 so i don't have the freaking primer wow vicky Wow, so I can't review the primer. I think I was moving so fast that I didn't even realize that I did not get the primer. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my priming moisturizer um, and we'll see, you know, cause I don't wanna like use anything like mattifying or nothing and like throw off the consistency of the foundation. But I figure most people won't really buy the primer. So I think I should be okay. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my own smoothing primer just in my T-zone area. Um, this is the foundation. Like I said, it's a medium to full coverage. Um, long wear, light as air. It's for all skin types. If you want a little more detailed information, you can definitely check out the Fenty website or Sephora website. I'm sure they will have all of the ingredients and all the information that you need to know. This is the sponge. It comes in same packaging. This is the packaging. And then this is the sponge. Now I got the sponge because Gigi ate my Beauty Blender. And this one is cheaper than the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender runs for $20, $19.99 to be exact. This one is $16. And it's quite soft. Um, I like the shape of it. It has a, a flat edge. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a flat edge and a rounded edge with a booty. You can use this for a lot of different things. I like how it's shaped. I'm going to go wet it and I'll be back. Yeah, it's really soft, like it's very, very bouncy. It reminds me a lot of the texture of the Beauty Blender. Um, I feel like that's gonna work really well. So I'm gonna use the foundation now. And uh, it says to shake well, okay. Before I get into this, it's 1.08 fluid ounces, which is about accurate. Um, most foundations do come in like a one ounce bottle. So 1.08 is not bad. Um, and the foundation is $39 for those of you who are wondering. I'm pretty sure most of you have already seen the price points online. So I'm actually going to put this on with a foundation brush first. So I'm gonna use like a foundation paint brush like this. Ooh. So it looks really, really nice. When I was blending it in the store, my finger, it was blending really well. I mean, like I literally just tapped it into my skin and it looked gorgeous that way too. That was one pump. And I noticed that it did, around the edges, I noticed that it's drying kind of fast. It is a matte foundation. If you have drier skin, you may wanna wear like a moisturizing primer or something to make sure that your skin doesn't get dry underneath. It's drying quickly. So you kinda wanna move quickly with this one. Um, I don't I don't even have to use this sponge. Oh my goodness. 
So I'm going in with my second pump. Ciao. This is a nice foundation, okay? Normally, if I apply a foundation with this brush first, I'll have to go back with a beauty blender or something to blend it out because it'll be kind of streaky. But this is going on. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned for the flawlessness. As the wintertime approaches and the weather gets cooler and I don't go out in the sun as much, my melanin won't be as popping. It's matching my face, but my neck is a bit lighter. So I'm, I'm thinking in the wintertime, this is not gonna be my shade. Like even like my hand and my arm, it kinda, it matches pretty well, but I'm seeing how this is gonna look a little different once my skin starts cooling off a bit. But the other color looked way too light on me. Y'all, this foundation is blending out really well with this little rinky dink paintbrush. Let me just tell you, uh, Riri, Riri. I wanna just, I'm gonna put more on just so I can try out the sponge cause I didn't even have to use the sponge, but I'm gonna try it with the sponge. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. I'm using the booty to blend this out, by the way. I can see how it's a medium to buildable coverage because with one layer, it covers like not full, full, not super full, but it does give a nice even coverage. So if you don't like a whole lot of coverage, you could get away with one layer. But if you do like a lot of coverage, you could totally layer this and it's not gonna get cakey because it it looks like, like skin, like let me get close so you guys can see this. I mean, it looks like my skin. I don't know if y'all can tell, but yo, giggity yo. That, my friends, is what I call a foundation. You know how some foundations, they're like matte foundations and they they dry down matte, but they're like really shiny right after you put it on? Like this instantly was matte. Like it's like not even giving me an ounce of shine. I mean, it looks so good. Like this is like a flawless foundation. I'm gonna blend it a little down my neck just to make sure that that color, just because I do notice that it is a bit warm on me. Um, and the more that I put on, the more I'm seeing the uh, warm toneness of it and how it's not really like totally matching. I can see that now. A foundation can match my face, but not match my neck. So I would suggest when you go into the store to get this foundation, you definitely should match your neck. You definitely should get shade matched um, and try a, a couple different shades. The, the beautiful thing about this foundation is that there are 40 shades, if you don't know already. And because there's so many shades available, it's kind of hard to choose your foundation shade because there's so many options. So you're gonna, you're gonna want to go into the store and get shade matched and try as many different shades as you can um, and compare them and contrast them just to see what matches you the best. Moving on, that was amazing. <laughs> I'm already impressed. Rihanna, let me just tell you, boo. Let me just. Next I have this match stick trio. It's a conceal, contour, and highlight matte skin stick and shimmer skin stick. So this is the packaging for that. This trio runs for $54. You are getting three products in one. And these two are individual ones. So individual ones cost $25 each, or you can get three for $54. So I believe this is a good deal because you're getting three for the price, three, three for the price of two. Um, so I feel like that's a steal uh, if you are planning on getting more than one matchstick. Let me just tell you all the cool thing about these matchsticks. I got the Tan 300, by the way. This is the shade range that I got. There is one deeper than this, it's called Deep. They are magnetic and they have this like hexagon packaging. Super cute, I love hexagons. So that's cute. And then I love that these are magnetic. This is just adorable. And then you take them apart. And then this is what the stick looks like. They are for contouring and highlighting, so I'm going to use it for that. I'm not gonna use concealer today. I'm gonna to use this in place of my concealer. So this is the color Caramel. And I'm gonna swipe that under my eye just to highlight. It's very creamy, but it's not too creamy to where it's like greasy. It feels kind of matte though. I'm not getting a really like moisturizing 
feel from this so I feel like if you do use it it's not going to get oily on you and if you are drier skinned you can use a little bit of primer oil or something with this to kind of like make it a bit more creamy but the one thing that I am happy about about getting the darker foundation as opposed to getting the lighter one is that I can highlight and contour to adjust it look at that you can put it together like that that's so cute the other colors that come with this are rum and truffle rum is the highlight truffle is the contour if you already have like cream contour cream highlight sticks I wouldn't say this is anything super different however I do like the texture of this one as opposed to some other stick foundations that I've tried so let's just say you wanted to use this as a foundation you totally could just get your color because there's tons of shades in this stick um, matchstick so if you didn't want a liquid foundation and you just wanted to get the stick for $25 which is the same price as the Anastasia um, foundation stick by the way just in case you didn't know it's not super full coverage I'm not seeing a ton of coverage on this so I mean if you wanted something that's a bit lighter in coverage I think this would be a good way to go all right so I don't have the powder the only thing that I didn't get from the line that I didn't really feel like I needed was the blot powder and the blotting paper and the brushes so I'm a setter I have to set my foundation with powder so I am going to set it with a translucent powder um I asked the lady in Sephora if the blotting powder could be used as a setting powder and she said no it's just strictly for blotting so um Rihanna does not have a matte powder or setting powder that you can use finishing powder that you can use um yet but I look forward to seeing that in the future from her because I'm sure she's gonna come out with more stuff in the future. So I'm just using a little bit of the LA Girl, what is this, LA Girl Pro Powder um, to set my under eyes. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of powder um, just to set the rest of my face. Um, so now I'm gonna go into the contour color. This is what truffle looks like. Excuse my nails, I need a fill. I was too excited to go get a fill, girl. I just wanted to get into this, okay. And I like that the matchsticks, like they're not super creamy because a lot of times contour colors can be way too creamy and then it just like leaves my face looking cakey. <laughs> I love this, look at this. Every time I put it together, I'm just like, okay, done. That's so cute, ah! I'm sorry, I'm overexcited, but I'm excited. Mm. It blends out nicely. Like I said, it's not super heavy and it's not super creamy, so it's not getting all over the place. It goes pretty much wherever you apply it um, and it doesn't like move around a lot. I knew this makeup was not going to disappoint me. I just knew it. Like I just knew it was not going to disappoint because I know Rihanna don't put up with that mess. This is blending out beautifully. Y'all see how this contour is blending out? Like normally contour colors, you really have to work them into the skin, but like that just blended like so easy. This is the highlight. I'm not going to use the highlight. I'm going to swatch it for you, but I'm not going to use it because I already have um, different color highlights that I want to try. That's the cream highlight in the color rum. It's really, really, really pretty. So if you did want just like a subtle, oh, what the heck? Let's just put it on our face. Right here down the nose area. And the girl at Sephora said that the beauty of these matchsticks is that because they aren't super creamy, you can apply them on top of powder and it's not going to disturb the powder underneath. And I feel like on the days where I don't feel like wearing a ton of makeup and a ton of highlight, that's gonna be really pretty for just a subtle, just a subtle highlight. Okay, so I filled in my brows. I'm gonna use a little bit of this stick, match stick in caramel to just go underneath my brows and clean them up a bit. The functionality of these products is really good. Brows are popping tin. So now we're gonna move into the fun stuff. I got Kilowatt highlighter in the color Trophy Wife. I got the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the color Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And then I got the highlighter Kilowatt Highlighter Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the colors Mean Money and Hustler Baby says they're creamy long lasting endless ways to glow my kind of product okay and then i also have the two match sticks and this is the shimmer sticks in the color chili mango 
chili mango and confetti so the match sticks particularly the color ones they can be used as lipsticks blushes highlights eye color um, whatever you wanted to use the matchstick for so I got two colors that I normally don't wear because I didn't want to get something that's just normal for me because I can always go back and get normal colors if I really want them confetti is the lighter one and then the darker one uh, the orange one is chili mango um so I'm gonna put this one on my lid and that may be doing a lot but I don't care so I'm just gonna use this orange on my lid interesting I mean this is really not like a super like I'm going out I'm gonna wear this out tutorial I really just wanted to try this stuff so bear with me if it's looking a little Christ that's kind of cute actually kind of like I'm gonna put down a crease color I'm gonna take my modern renaissance palette I'm gonna take a this Riagar and burnt orange I'm just gonna blend that into my crease area I mean, I've never really seen Rihanna with a super beat face. Like, I mean, her face always looks great, but I've never seen her with like a tin shadow smoky eye. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like this is for people like me who don't do a ton on their eyes. Just want like a little pop or something, a little shot on something, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on the inner corner of my eye, just right here. I don't really know what I would do with these colors. I just wanted to get them because they were so pretty. So now I'm going to try the lip gloss. This is the Fenty Glow lip gloss. And it says it is addictive shine nourishing wear universal touch. So this is the lip gloss. Okay, it's super moisturizing. It smells good. Mm. It smells like strawberries. It doesn't have a ton of color in it, but this is definitely a universal, like just juicy, juicy bomb lip color. I actually think I'm gonna take off the orange on my eyes. I'm gonna take Buon, Buon Fresco, put that on my lid, and then that'll be a good base for this confetti color and that'll match my shirt let's do that okay so i went ahead and put on some mascara and some lashes so now we're gonna get into these highlights so i have these three trophy wife ginger Binge and Moscow Mule and Moneymaker and Hustler Baby. Very simple, very cute. And this is, let me try to open it. This is Trophy Wife. Woo! That is beautiful. Oh m goodness i don't want to put this on with what i have on because i just feel like it's gonna be a lot but i can't not try it i'm gonna put a little bit on my face so you guys can Ooh. <laughs> okay gonna take that off all right this is hustle baby this is hustle baby and mean money it's a little bit lighter but i feel like they're good like champagne-y colors for when you when you want something a little bit lighter. Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This one's my favorite. It is gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite things out of the whole collection that I've gotten, um, other than the foundation, of course, but I feel like this is like super pretty. Let me just wipe off my brush because I know there's still some Trophy Wife on there. This Trophy Wife though. Now I'm gonna apply Moscow Mule to the top of my cheek. I don't even care if this bump is here. We're just gonna highlight her and get over it. Mmm, I like this one. I'm assuming this is more like a blush, so I'm gonna apply this as a blush and see how it... Yeah, that's a blush. We're just gonna be super glowy today, even though we have this huge pimple. We're just gonna be super glowy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. So, 
I'm liking this one the most. The only thing I feel like is missing is a good solid lip color. Uh, of course, you can apply gloss with the matchsticks, but I feel like I need a good lip color. So I actually just went to the bathroom and my face is way sparklier than it is in person. So, I mean, in real life, it looks subtle it's not too much i mean it doesn't look like super super like glittery but like in like artificial light or probably like in direct sunlight it is like cloudy right now so there's no like direct sunlight hitting me but if there were direct sunlight or direct lighting hitting me like it would be like glitter bomb so if you're going to get anything from the from the collection i would definitely say the foundation is bomb i love it um and it's definitely worth trying i would say get the foundation um i like the gloss i feel like you can never have too many good glosses um and this is like the perfect everyday color um i feel like it goes with any skin tone um and it's really glossy you'll probably just wear this with anything so it's a pretty good all-around product the kilowatt in in ginger binge and moscow mule I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of this um, and I feel like it's gonna be a good staple highlight for me for the fall time. Also, y'all, I really, really like this Trophy Wife. I mean, it is a bit dramatic, but at the same time, if you are a highlighter girl, Trophy Wife is a must have, must have. I'm probably going to be returning the matchstick in Confetti and the matchstick in chili mango unless i see other people online using chili mango and confetti in a way that i think i could use a lot but for the most part i don't really feel like it would be like a go-to for me if anything i would go back and get these in a gold shade um or like a champagne -y shade that i could like swipe over my lid as like a um like a highlight kind of shadow color i feel like i would do that more than i would do this because i really like the the rum stick and I feel like I could use that to highlight on just days where I don't feel like looking like a glitter bomb you know um so I might go back and get like a golder one and a more um I don't know maybe like a rose goldy color but the color ones eh, I'm not sure if I know how I want to use these yet so I may take these colors back and exchange them for a different color and then I'm of course because I'm an idiot I'm going to take back this super light skint foundation that I can't use um, because it's not my shade and I really wanted the primer so I'm going to exchange this for the primer and try the primer out and I'll probably let you guys know how that goes. Um, the ones that I'm keeping, the foundation, the kilowatts in Ginger Binge Moscow Mule Trophy Wife and then I'm keeping these three, the contour and highlight sticks with the rum uh, stick with it and the gloss. All in all though, everything is nice. I, there's nothing that I have complaints about. It's just a matter of picking the right shades for you, picking what you're actually going to wear, um, picking what you feel like would be best for your like everyday routine. I'm trying to declutter, so I'm not really trying to get a whole bunch of like crazy colors and stuff like that, which is why I plan on taking back the colored ones. Everything's phenomenal. Rihanna, you did that girl it's very unique very different nobody else on the market has something like this so i just i think it's a great way to start off her first makeup line and yeah if you guys want to check out fenty beauty for yourself links will be down in the description box to everything that i tried also if you guys have any questions about my hair i do have a hair video of this wig where you can buy it it is my own personal wig that i created with my first wig so be sure to check that out links will be in the description box as well um other than that, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited as I am about this launch. If you are, let me know what you got and I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!